Hello, my name is Nathan Clark. Welcome to TransWest Truck, Trailer, and RV here in Fountain, Colorado. My name is Nathan Clark. I've got some information here. Please give me a call if you have any questions on any of the vehicles that we're looking at today. And also click on the link below that should give you some additional information as well. What I'm showing you today is the 2022 Newmar Ventana model number 4369. I'm going to start by going through the outside features, explaining the Gerard double awnings with also the awning above the, the entryway. If we get a good gust of wind, we might see it automatically retract. Uh, we've got both of them set up there. They also are uh, amazing how much coverage for outside entertainment. So I'll start here. You have a combination lock. You can have your own code. You have a doorbell. You can also press lock, lock your doors and also all of your cabinets. Your diesel tank is 100 gallons. You actually have a, a filler on both sides. So you can have a rapid fill if you, have, if you pull into a truck stop, you actually can fill it up from both sides. First container. Nice thing about this one is there are additional options where if you put a slide in there, you can put in an additional outside ref refrigerator freezer. You also have a 110 and a 12 volt plug. You have full pass through storage. This ladder is so you can actually access the roof and have access to your air conditioning units or your solar panels. There are optional upgraded graded trays that you can put in there that can go out either side or split in the middle. You have your entertainment system out here. It is a Samsung with a Bose soundbar. Additional power plugs for additional accessories. Another storage pass through. There's a couple things in there. There's actually a stack of tiles there. In case you were to crack a tile inside your, your inside flooring, you don't have to worry about matching another tile. It actually matches your tiles right there. You can actually fix it. You actually have an air hose so you can inflate your tires or anything that you might need. Now this is an example of one of those 50 percent trays where half half is on one side you can pull it out so you also have your vacuum system and this is your vacuum hose and all your accessories it locks in place kind of nice this is a pegboard a lot of times people bring tools with them that they need for camping, it's nice to have everything organized. Right behind that pegboard is actually a fresh water tank. You do have 22 and a half inch Alcoa aluminum rims with Michelin tires. Benefit of Michelin's is they're probably the best rated tire on the road. They have the strongest sidewalls to prevent you from picking up road debris and damaging your tires. Your chassis batteries, you've got two 12 volt chassis batteries with an actually battery shutoff switch there. We've got also a reservoir for your hydronic heating system with the Oasis system. And of course your exhaust system right here. The Ventanas equipped are built on the Freightliner chassis. It has 400 horsepower, 1,250 foot-pounds of torque, and also it is the XCR uh, chassis. It is an inline six. It does have a Allison transmission. Everything that's in yellow is your responsibility. Anything other than yellow, let the technicians take care of that stuff. Down below you have a 15,000 pound towing capacity with an electric brake controller. 
So if you wanted to put a vehicle in tow, just hook it up. Down below, these are your mounts for that external ladder so you can climb up on the roof and have access to it. A couple camera systems up here. This camera is designed to have visual of what's going on behind you and also if you have a vehicle in tow, it'll keep, it, keep track of that as well. These two compartments, they're actually connected. You have an engine block heater plug back here. The nice thing about the engine block heater plug is you don't have to necessarily connect it to a ground plug. You can actually plug it into your coach and run it off your generator and keep everything nice and warm on your engine, especially for like cold climates like here in Colorado. There's a light inside here, so you actually have access. You can actually use it at night. Nice to see what you're doing. This is your diesel exhaust fluid container. Uh, it's a 13 gallon on a Freightliner chassis. And the nice thing about it being on back where you would fill it up is you can actually fill it at most truck stations. So it makes it easy for you. It does have a gauge on it and it also has a gauge at the dash. So you can have the most accurate readings. This little cont container has drains in it. Sometimes people put hoses in there, sometimes they put sewage hoses, it's just purely up to you. You always want to keep an eye on where these slides are. You, they, they'll remind you that they're out real quickly. This is your pump station. You got your retractable hose, you got your water filtration system, you've got your uh, black water tank flush so you can actually attach a hose and wash everything down everything else is also identified so you know what they are and where they go to you have an outside shower the hot and cold water the reason why the filter is on the outside is because it's winterized right now here in colorado we do get sub 30 degree temperatures and we want to make sure that we don't have any water issues this little hose down here is kind of cool because when you're winterizing it, all you have to do is plug it into the bucket and press the pump and it actually sucks it into the system. There's a couple little adjustments that you need to do on that to make sure that it's done properly. If you have any questions or anything, we actually have a label on the inside of the door here. So if you're out on one of your camping expeditions and you have questions, give us a call. We'd be happy to help. While I'm under here, this is a retractable uh, 50 amp uh, power plug hose. You actually have the ability to retract if you need to. Since most of the cord is already out, it's actually uh, not letting me pull it further. You have your power monitor for the ATS system so you can see what it's actually doing. This is your o Oasis hot water and heating system, where that reservoir in the back actually feeds this system. This is the other side of that pass-through storage. Inside here, you actually have a couple different uh, controls here. This one actually takes care of your solar up on the left there. And then in between the main frame of the coach, you actually have your uh, inverter that runs through your batteries and keeps everything charged. Here are your eight six volt batteries. It's actually on a tray that comes out. There's two pins, one on each side. You have to remove the pins in order to slide it out for service. Make sure you put those pins back in once you put it back in. Here's your electronics box where all your fuses are. You also have access to pull the hood release to access your generator. That's actually right here. You heard that little click? That means it's open. Support 
arm here. This is an 8,000 watt quiet diesel generator. Again, yellow as your responsibility. Anything other than yellow, let the technicians take care of. You also have a hot water spigot over here. You have your air horns. You have your air connection. You also have a few different filters. You have your, hot, your washer fluid and also access to your uh, hydraulic system. Well, if you'd like to come inside, come on in. I have tape and I have carpet on the front steps here because I don't want to scratch them up. But underneath, you actually have storage. And this one also has storage as well. It's much deeper storage. So you can put more goodies in there. Come on in. I'd like to start at the back of the coach so I can show you some of the features and benefits as we bring it through to the front. Come on back. So we have the full shower. Nice thing about this, it actually has the seat in there so you can actually sit down while you're showering. If ladies like to shave, you know, it's nice to be able to relax with some hot water blazing. It does have a tankless water, uh, hot water system. Nice thing about that is you don't have to wait for the water to heat up. Coming over here, you have a porcelain toilet. This is gonna be your exit door. This is an emergency exit. And the thing that's unique about this emergency exit is there's a ladder that's actually right behind this panel right here. So you can actually climb down if you need to. Inside here is your safe. This is the back closet. Additional storage. Nice thing about this compartment is these shelves on both sides are adjustable. You can take them out if you need to hang on clothing or garments. And this control panel in the back here is for the KIB system. Medicine cabinets. One for him, one for her. <laughs> Jack and Jill bathroom. Also, you have power plugs on both sides. Big storage. Nice thing about the drawers is they come all the way out so you don't have to dig around in the back. size drawers. Everybody always asks what this door is to. If a tech needs to get to the engine compartment, they can actually access it from back here. We also have a stackable Splendid washer and dryer. This is a 72 by 80 inch king bed. You also have the KIB controls up here so you can actually turn on the lights on or off from one, content, one control panel. It's actually right here. You have right and left sleeper positions. So you have right and left controls so you can turn on and off the reader light if you'd like. Lots of storage, lots of deep drawers. Again, they go all the way out so you have the full back of the drawer access. And notice that they're, they're wood, they're good, good quality material. And they also have self-closing 
drawers. Inside here is where your audio video controls would be for your TV. You also have power plugs in the back. You also have power plugs underneath the TV as well. Another full drawer. Well, let's proceed out into the main living area here. This is one of my favorite setups. I mean, I like to cook, so with this, you actually push on it to release it. You can pull all, say, your cans, all your um, pasta, anything that you could possibly want in there. You actually do have to lock it in place by pushing it and latching it. Very simple. It doesn't take a whole lot of effort, but you've got a ton of closet space, and they maximize that with these drawers. You have a three-door Whirlpool residential refrigerator. It does have an ice maker, and it has a full freezer. Lots of space in there. That's your ice box right here. It does also have a water filter up in there as well. In the same area, the reason why I'm talking about this area, I can actually shut this door and separate this bedroom and bathroom from the rest of your guests. So if someone wanted to sleep, they don't have to worry about hanging out with everybody. <laughs> This is called a pocket door. It actually opens to conserve space. So when the slides are in, you can still access the bathroom. I'm gonna open up some compartments here. You have some electronics. You also have a power system up in here. And I believe that's for your solar. Lots of lighting. Nice power panel in there. All these are equipped with the fantastic vents. All you have to do is press control to turn them on and they actually will have a motor inside that runs the fan and opens up the vent and Kind of like a simple operation. You also have another porcelain toilet in here. And then you also have some storage underneath the, the sink there with all the plumbing. All right, so coming over to the kitchen here. I love the counter space in here. This is very user friendly. There's lots of room. There's a power cord, power cable up here. Everybody always asks where they're gonna plug in the coffee machine. Right here, you have plenty of room for it. These are actually Corian countertops. You have a double stainless steel sink. When you're out on the road, it's nice to be able to have your washing, rinsing. A lot of times people will use these as cutting boards and the, I think the stove actually has the cutting board on the other side here. See how it's got the cutting board there? So that's the one you want to use. Cool thing about this stove is you actually have induction heat. There's no propane. So if you wanted to take this outside and use it on, in your entertainment area out there, just pick it up, bring it out, disconnect it by the plug, and actually bring it outside and plug it in. And you can actually use the induction heat. Nice thing about induction, induction heat is it doesn't require propane. If you put your pan on there, you have a faster cooking time. It's more, it, it's more efficient heating system for your food. This is a convection microwave. With that, you have, let me see what we got here. 
all your controls, your turntable, everything that you need. These metal racks will allow you to cook inside. It actually has a full heat sensor. I think the trick's going to be learning how to make cookies in this oven. We've got a drawer. We've got all of your controls for all your audio visual. This is your dishwasher. It's kind of a nice feature to have. Not a lot of coaches have a dishwasher. When you're done entertaining, it's nice to be able to let that do the job instead of slaving over a stove. Knife drawer, nice and long, so you can have that big chef's knife if you know if you want. They've thought about everything. They, the way the little framing is for the trash can so it doesn't slide around underneath. Thing about Numar is they make they take pride in the work that they do and they actually you can see the difference in the quality of the work and also by the drawers and and all the connections everything slides so evenly and smooth this is a unique little setup right here you actually have an additional cutting board you actually have a button right here so you can extend your cooking space you also press that same button to release it there you go. Actually, no, you don't. <laughs> Up above, you've got a ton of storage. You've got your owner's manuals in here, but you have a slide-out tray. And owner's manuals up in there. Lots of shelving space. Additional power supply for your microwave. storage areas. Shelves are lined with cloth and they're also adjustable in height. You saw that. All right, so go to the dinette right behind you. You actually have your uh, Euro dinette. They don't recommend that people sit there when you're in, driving down the road because there are no seat belts in that. Your curtains actually are manual. So you actually have a couple different shades. You have a light shade, and then you also have a privacy shade. Pull them to release them. Pretty simple to do. On each wall, each compartment throughout the entire coach, you have a, a light switch that's gonna be able to control everything on this panel. So on that side, you actually have the same setup so we can actually go over here. You have all the storage up above. You also do have an audio box, lots of controls, power sources. You have a sound bar up above. You also have your televator right here. Cool thing about the televator is it actually is controlled from your theater style seating. This is sofa bed. Nice thing about this is I want to take it apart so I can show you how it works. Sometimes figuring these things out is the toughest part. These legs come up. Notice inside here you have seat belts in there. We usually put them down below so they, when you're showing it, you don't have to see the seat belts, but you just pull them through when you need them. And then you take the other seat, the cushions, as pillows. The system right here. You want to make sure that it goes down right there before it's nice and smooth. If it rests up on here, those legs won't close. So you want to make sure that it clears the armrest before you fully put it in its stored position.
and coming across where the televator controls are. These are recliners. They're power recliners. You have additional storage for snacks. I mean, <laughs> you also can move that around. So you've got a pretty deep storage down there. Got your recliner. You also have your televator. They don't want you to stress too much when you're putting these things down. It's right here within arm's reach. You also have USB plugs on each one of these chairs so the kids can keep their uh, electrical devices charged. You have additional storage compartments, one on both sides. Nice thing about Numar, when I was talking quality, and uh, you can see the difference between the, the different things as far as designing. These are actually magnetic. And the reason why they're magnetic is so that you can get behind and clean the mirror. Makes ease of ownership. Snaps about it. Also, this one up here. Imagine cleaning this with a Q-tip. Not Numar. They do a nice job with that. Up above, you have a ton of storage. And it's padded here so you don't rack your knuckles every time you open a compartment here. That's a lot of storage. And also they've got a solid fixture so it doesn't rattle. It, it's, it's designed for each one of these with a purpose. So what I'd like to do next is I'd like to pull in the slides and pull in the awning to show you how simple everything is. This is the one above the door. When it stops, it's done. All right, so this right here, this is the Girard uh, awning system. There's two uh, awnings to it. You have the front one and the back one. So if you go to the number one awning, you press in and it automatically does it. So it's actually coming in on, you can see it right out here. It's actually coming in automatically. A one push button system. And when that's done, I'll do number two. I've got these, this actually plugged into a 50 amp power supply so I can run it without the engine on. Uh, that way you have your batteries charging, you don't have to worry about killing the battery or starting up your engine so you can get things going. All right, so let's go to number two and press in and it does it all automatically for us. And that one is actually coming in behind the kitchen back there. All right. You have your hot water system, your oasis system. When you set up your power supply, when you plug it in, you always want to make sure your inverter is on. All right. You also have your digital display of your tanks and also your air conditioning system. So with that, let's see if we can do auto. There we go. Living room is set up. Run AC. So you can control it all here. You have your slides. I'm going to pull in these slides here. So this one's actually the door side is over here. And the off, off door side is over here. So watch your step there. Is that one need to be adjusted here? Let's pull this forward. 
make sure that the back of the uh, the chair doesn't come in contact with the slides so it doesn't scratch it. Nice thing about Numar is these are the smoothest slide operation out of all the manufacturers. They actually created the slide, the electric. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the back slide in so I can show you how much room is here. Nice thing about this is you still have access to the bathroom and that little pocket door allows you to open it without having to worry about not having enough clearance. This slide is the bedroom. All right, now I'm gonna pull this slide in so you can see how much room you've got overall. The whole purpose of this is to show you that you can actually shimmy between the two different slides and actually still get back to the bathroom. So you can still use your refrigerator, you can still use your kitchen if you had to pull over to the side of the road for like an emergency. So I take a look here. You want to walk through? You got lots of room here. Still have access to your bathroom. Still have access to your refrigerators. So now we've got the, the cockpit. You have some adjustment in the steering wheel right here. There's a little foot pedal on the left. Make sure you're comfortable. What that beeping is telling you is that the equalizer system the jacks are down you have automatic leveling system so you just press a button and it does it all for you air horn your tag dump you can put it on automatic if, if right in the middle there that way you don't have to manually control dropping the the tag axle if you leave it on automatic and you put it in reverse what that'll do is it'll automatically lift up the tag axle so you have uh, less scrub on the tires. You have your point to the mirror you want to adjust on the outside and then you use the little buttons on the outside to adjust those. You also have an additional house battery boost. What this is designed to do is if you've lost all power it'll connect all the battery power together that's left and be like a jumper box. You have a dome light right up above us. You have your controls on the wand here for drive, neutral, reverse. And this is your parking brake right here. In order to release your parking brake, you always want to put your foot on the brake to set it. So it's letting you know that your tag axle is down. It's also letting you know that your um, automatic leveling system is on. So it kind of reminds you, don't go anywhere until you get it disconnected, get it back to normal. You do have some visors. This is a sun protection visor. You also have a shade that's going to be a complete lockout for privacy. 
this one is automatic on the front so you do it you, you have to press the button on this one over here you actually have a light shade on the left and you also have a full release on the uh, wind, the light shade as well you have your navigation system here we were pointing out on the uh, camera systems you actually have a left blinker camera it's going to show you everything on the left side you have your right blinker camera well the door is open so it's you can't see that but your back camera is going to be when you're driving down the road now you can also adjust the view to which camera you're looking at that to point straight down on your tow hitch or you can point on your vehicle in tow over here you have the ability to start your generator from inside your coach so if you wanted to run your air conditioning system and you weren't plugged in I would definitely recommend throwing that on there and you can run all three air conditioning systems off of one generator turn on your fans you actually have fans up there to generate wind movement here air conditioning system feels kind of good this is your air, your camera selection here you can also control the lock on the entry way here a couple little things on your dash here you actually have the you press the home button and you can actually go through the different gauges and you can go through the different uh, fuel economies um, going back to home you go through your gauges here fuel economy vehicle configuration diagnostics and you can actually control the, all the anything that's in this digital display you do have hands-free wireless radio or a cell phone so you pair your phone to the vehicle you can pick up and hang up and cruise control Well, they're also on this side there's a little button that's a power button and if you see down here you have a retractable foot pedals so you can actually adjust the brake pedals and the gas pedal to your comfort of course your blinkers all right and then over here while you're going down the road, the last thing you want to do is dangle your feet so you actually have a step cover. This is going to fully protect and it's going to be completely flush with the floor. So when you're out there, you can feel comfortable with that. Each one of these seats is a power seat. They also do swivel all the way around. This little lever right here, this one allows you to move the seat. So you got to put it back in place. You also have lumbar support and you also have power adjustments here as well. Tilt, tilt. If you look at over here, there's a tray. If you just want to hang out while you're going down the road. You also have a cordless charging station. Well, that just about sums it up uh, let me grab my information here again I'm Nathan Clark please call me if you have questions and you'd like to see another coach thank you very much